Hello all. In this video, we'll have a look at a few of the problems on HCF. We'll be covering the following problems. I hope you'll have a better understanding of HCF after solving these problems. So let's solve our first problem. What is the least number of equal sized square tiles that is needed to cover a rectangular floor with dimensions 12 cross 16 meters? That is, we have a rectangular floor with length 16 meters and breadth 12 meters. We are now supposed to calculate the least number of equal size square tiles that can be placed within this rectangular floor. The rectangular floor can be covered with the equal size square tiles when the side of the square exactly divides the length and breadth of the rectangle, right? That is when this side exactly divides the breadth of the rectangle and this side of the square exactly divides the length of the rectangle, we have equal sized square tiles which covers this entire rectangular floor, right? Hence we have, if the side of the square exactly divides the length and breadth of the rectangular floor, we get square tiles of same size which is nothing but the length of the side of the square must be a common factor to length and breadth of the floor, right? But how do we get the least number of equal size square tiles? This happens when the length of the side of the square is maximum, right? So we have the least number of square tiles is obtained when the length of the side of the square is maximum. Hence, from these two points, we see that the length of the side of the square must be the HCF of the length and breadth of the floor. Hence, the HCF of 12 and 16, which is the breadth and length of the rectangle, is 4, which can be obtained by the division method as shown here. Right? So, this 4 forms a HCF of 12 and 16. So we now have the HCF of 12 and 16 which is 4 which is nothing but the length of the side of the square. So now the number of squares within this rectangular floor is obtained by dividing the area of the rectangle by the area of the square. right? So we have the area of the rectangle is equal to 16 into 12 and the area of the square is 4 square, right? Since the length of the square is 4, we have the area of the square is 4 square, which gives us 12. So the least number of equal size square tiles that is required to cover a rectangular floor with dimensions 12 cross 16 meters is 12. Clear? In our next problem, it is given that the HCF of two numbers is 21 and the product is 2205. Find the numbers. Let the two numbers be N1 and N2. It's given that the HCF of these two numbers is 21 and the product of these numbers is 2205. In order to solve this, we make use of the following important property of HCF. If two numbers n1 and n2 have HCF h, then n1 is equal to the product of h and x and n2 is equal to the product of h and y. Where x and y are numbers which are co-prime to each other, that is, x and y have no common factor other than 1. So here it's given that the HCF of the two numbers is 21. So N1 is written as 21 into X and N2 is written as 21 into Y. And since the product of N1 and N2 is 2205, we write 21X into 21Y is equal to 2205, which gives us X into Y is equal to 5. 
but we know that x and y are co-primes that is they have no common factor other than 1 hence the two numbers whose product is 5 and are co-prime to each other are 1 and 5 right hence we have n1 equal to 21 into 1 which is equal to 21 and n2 equal to 21 into 5 which is equal to 105 ok now we have 3 numbers 125, 193, 329 leave the same remainder 6 when divided by a number find the greatest such number here we see that these 3 numbers when divided by a number say n leaves the same remainder 6 right that is when 6 is subtracted from each of these numbers the resulting number is exactly divisible by a number say n and we are supposed to find the greatest value of that particular number n right so subtracting 6 from each of these numbers we get 119 187 and 323 the greatest number n that divides each of these three numbers exactly is nothing but the HCF of these three numbers hence calculating the HCF of these three numbers we get 17 to be the highest common factor of these three numbers which can be shown by our divisor method here the HCF of 119 and 187 is 17 and the HCF of 17 and 323 is again 17 hence the greatest number that exactly divides 119, 187 and 323 is 17 which is the greatest number that divides 125, 193 and 329 leaving a remainder 6 clear so in general the greatest number that divides n1, n2, n3 leaving the same remainder r is the HCF of n1 minus r, n2 minus r and n3 minus r and so on. The next method is explained in the last problem. In our next problem, we have to find the greatest number that will divide 264, 288 and 312 so as to leave remainder 11, 12 and 13 respectively. Here, if the greatest number that divides the three numbers is n, then the resulting numbers that are obtained after subtracting each of these numbers by the respective remainders is exactly divisible by the greatest number n. So the resulting numbers after subtracting the given numbers from the respective remainders are 253. 276 and 299 these three numbers when divided by the greatest number n are exactly divisible by that particular number n and hence the greatest number n is nothing but the HCF of these three numbers so let's obtain the HCF of these three numbers by uh, the divisor method so as for the divisor method uh, considering 253 and 276 the HCF of 253 and 276 is 23 and the HCF of 23 and 299 is again 23 hence 23 is the greatest number that exactly divides 253, 276 and 299 hence n equal to 23 is the greatest number that will divide 264, 288 and 312 so as to leave remainder 11, 12 and 13 respectively. In general, 
the greatest number that divides n1, n2, n3, and so on, leaving the same remainder r1, r2, r3, and so on, respectively, is the HCF of n1 minus r1, n2 minus r2, n3 minus r3, and so on. Okay. In our next problem, there are three numbers 57, 89, 169 that leave the same remainder r when divided by a number n. Find the greatest such number n. This problem is similar to our previous problem where we are given with the three numbers and the remainder that these three numbers leave when divided by a number. Right? But in this particular problem, we do not know the value of the remainder. In order to solve this kind of a problem, we have the following property. The greatest number that divides n1, n2, n3 leaving the same remainder r is the HCF of the absolute value of n1 minus n2 and the absolute value of n2 minus n3 and the absolute value of n3 minus n1. That is, in this case, the greatest number that divides these three numbers leaving the same remainder r is obtained by calculating the HCF of 89 minus 57 and 169 minus 89 and 169 minus 57 right so this gives us uh, 32 this gives us 80 and this gives us 112 Calculating the HCF of these three numbers 32, 80 and 112 we get 16 which is the greatest number that divides 57, 89, 169 to leave a remainder R right here I subtracted the smaller number from the larger number so as to ensure that the result is positive but uh, you can, we, as we can see from the statement, uh, we try to calculate the HCF of the absolute value of the differences, right? Okay. So I hope this video is clear. Thanks for watching.